Having the ability to sell is a dangerous weapon. Put in the right hands, selling can lead to a great product finding new customers or a new beautiful relationship beginning. Put in the wrong hands and you can manipulate people into buying something they don't need or even worse, something that hurts them. In November 2019, the Federal Trade Commission and the Utah Division of Consumer Protection sued Nudge, LLC, and affiliated companies, alleging that they make empty promises about earning money by flipping houses to convince consumers to buy real estate training packages that cost thousands of dollars. In a filing today, the FTC and the Utah Division of Consumer Protection requested that a court prohibit Nudge and its affiliates from selling the packages. According to the complaint, Utah-based Nudge markets its training through real estate celebrities who promise to reveal strategies for making amazing profits at seminars included in the packages. One celebrity endorser quoted in the complaint, for example, promises he will share his formula for success that is proven to get results. This seminar company will be shut down, but does this type of seminar and promises sound familiar to you? Enter Dan Locke. He was a speaker at Jason Capital's High Status Summit in 2018. I want to make this video to bring awareness of how very strong sales tactics can be used to influence or manipulate an impressionable audience into buying a product they don't need, or even worse, one that will hurt them financially and emotionally. Impressionable audience. This is the most important aspect of this sales funnel. Audience members attending these kinds of seminars are typically looking to make more money, are eager to learn, and have already shown a willingness to pay for education by buying a ticket to the event. Throughout this video, I'll be sharing my opinion on sales tactics Dan used to manipulate people into becoming customers for his digital product. I'll of course be criticizing throughout the video when appropriate, so make sure to stay until the end. But I want this video to be more of an educational experience on how these internet marketers sell their product. And even more important is how dangerous these seminars can be on the attendees. My first point is that these speakers are brought on stage under the pretense that they will be giving value to the audience, but there never is any value given. I want you to notice how Dan Locke's speech is just one long sales pitch with absolutely zero value given. When you attend a seminar, you're doing it because you like the host of the event. Because you like the host of the event, the guest speakers feel like they're on your side and want to provide value to your life. The psychology behind this is a feeling of trust in the speaker because they have been pre-selected by the host of the event. Side note, pre-selection is also one of the most important factors in attracting women because of how powerful it is on human psychology. And let's play this video here, right now. Dan Locke is a story of a man who beat all the odds. A true immigrant success story. Jason builds up the anticipation by playing a super cringe video full of social proof and gets the audience excited to hear Dan speak. Stand up and put your hands together and give a big, warm welcome to... <laughs> Well, Jason told me you guys need to work on your energy a bit. <laughs> some caffeine. So I want to start off by asking you a question. The question is, why are you here? This is a great way to begin a speech. By getting the audience engaged early, he knows he'll have their attention. In order to sell his products at the end, he needs the audience's full attention throughout the whole seminar. Every segment of the speech is carefully designed to get the audience one step closer to buying his product so any disengagement by audience members will have a direct impact on how many sales he can close. So what I'm going to do in the next hour or so is to take what you've learned in the last three days, the high status mindset, I'm going to show you how to turn that into high income. They can earn you an extra 100000 to a quarter million dollars a year without a college degree. Absolute lie. He's not teaching anything. The next 60 minutes is one long sales pitch. Today I'm going to walk you through four secrets. How many? Four, four secrets. To show you how I'm going to make your F you money. As a high ticket closer, I'm not talking about a little bit of money. I'm talking about making enough money to say fuck you to your boss, to your enemies, to the bitch who dumped you. Yeah, just said that Four powerful secrets. There are no secrets unveiled in this speech. I also hope you're starting to see how manipulative this style of selling really is. And this book, it's a collector's item because I brought a few hundred copies with me. That is it. It's a hot cover of my book. You can go on Amazon, you can still buy a soft cover, but I'm no longer publishing the hot cover. 
this is it. Like, whatever I have, this is it. You won't be able to find. In fact, you go to Amazon, the hot cover sells as much as $120 right now. Creating scarcity for his products, which leads you to believe that it is a very valuable product. This is all fake. Do you really think his crappy mindset ebook is worth $120? Of course not. He seriously gives it away for free here in exchange for your email. So I'm going to show a quick video here just before I flew here with my team. I brought a team of 10 with me and see if they see the video would work. Oh, here we Guess go. Guess who's here? Guess who's here? See my desk, my guy. All right, all right. Sifu is here with Jenny. Sifu, how you doing? Yeah, that's right, HTC. HTC family, good to I see done. you. Yeah, thank you, Jenny, yeah, come on board. Hop on, hop on. We're gonna fly out. I wanna talk more, but we actually, we are late. We gotta go. All right. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Massive social proof. He's embedding it into the audience members' minds that he is high status with access to a Bentley in a private jet. But my, my life wasn't always like this. My life wasn't always, oh, you know, I'm on, on a cover magazine. This is on the Iconic Concierge magazine, one of the most prestigious magazines in Canada. And they call me the king of high-ticket high -ticket sales. But really, that was just a setup for one of the most impactful segments of any sales speech, sales copy, or sales pitch. Relatability. Customers want to feel like they can relate to you. Why? Because they want to believe that if you can do it, then they can do it too. So I was born in Hong Kong. Immigrated to Canada when I was 14 years old, with no money, no connections, and not a word of the English language on my lips. My mom and dad got divorced when I was 16 years old. So you can imagine going to a country where you don't speak the language. So growing up, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I wasn't one of those people that said, oh, you know, I'm gonna do these great things, I'm gonna accomplish this, I'm gonna accomplish that, no. And I wasn't one of those people who could know all the right people in all the right places. Because when I first got to North America, I didn't know anybody. I had no friends. And I wasn't one of those people that was born to do some great or wonderful things. No. And I wasn't one of those students that had a, a good education. In fact, I dropped out of college. I never graduated from college. I smell the beginning of a rags to riches story. The most powerful story told in American history. He's also subtly removing objections from the audience. One very popular objection is, you can do it, but I'm not like you, therefore I can't do it. He's removing that objection now. He spends these couple of minutes sharing stories about how he was broke, could only afford a $2,500 car, and struggled to find food to eat. A truly heartbreaking story, Dan. So I know, I know what it's like to struggle. And I know what it's like to be in debt. At the time, because of all my crazy business ideas, I was so hungry. It was so desperate that I wanted to succeed. I gave him the nickname Desperate Dan in my part two video critique of him and didn't even realize that he gave himself the nickname first. He spends this segment relating to the audience really well. He really knows his audience. He knows what books they've read. He knows what making money online strategies they've tried. He knows their pains. And he tells them, There must be an easy way to hit my financial goals. There must be an easier way to make money. Here's what is hitting your subconscious. What you're doing is too difficult. There is an easier way to get rich, and I'm about to share it with you. Your conscious mind probably doesn't pick up on this, but this is exactly what's going on. Remember what I said earlier. Every segment of this presentation is targeted at your subconscious to get you into a buying frame. Until I discover the power of wealth triangle. Take notes. There are three parts to the wealth triangle. How many? Three. three. Here's where he cons the audience into thinking he's teaching them something. His wealth triangle is about as basic as half the thoughts on Instagram. The first line contains a terrible grammar mistake. You make you money. Thanks, Dan. This is freaking genius work here. Provides you a stability, comfort, peace of mind. Yes, Dan, the job description of all sales positions begins with stability, comfort, and peace of mind. Sales is literally the opposite of these three. But Dan doesn't know because he's never had a sales position in his life. I also want you to notice how often $10,000 a month gets brought up in internet marketing circles. Nearly everyone entering into internet marketer sales funnels has aspirations of attaining this goal. This is why Dan says he made 10k a month during his copywriting days and why he uses that specific number here. Trust me, watch enough content from these internet marketers and 10k a month gets brought up all the time. The worst time to start a business is when you're desperate. When you need money like you need blood in your vein. 
when you're desperate in a business, you cannot make smart decisions. Dan literally proves this 30 minutes later when all of the desperate people in the crowd make a terrible decision to join Dan's high ticket closer program. You're making more than 10K a month, now you can. Scalable business, now your, your business is making so much fucking cash, you don't know what to do with it. Then you put it into your? Is that simple? Does that give you more clarity? Yes. Like, duh. <laughs> now, but I just gave you what I've learned in the last 10 years in basically five minutes. Dan has clearly learned so much about business that he can share it all with you in about 45 seconds. Dan, the business expert, is now the efficiency expert as he can literally condense a decade of business acumen into 45 seconds. People watching, can you please see how insane this is and how silly it is that he actually gets people to follow what he says? I was making 10K a month as a young guy, 21 years old. Making 10K a month. I'm telling you, now that you've been warned of the 10K a month obsession in the internet marketing community, you will not be able to avoid it. High ticket closing. High ticket closing. My high income skills bought me this R8 when I was 26 years old. That was more than 11 years ago. He does a really good job of instilling classical conditioning and association onto the audience members. Notice that every time he mentions high ticket sales or high ticket closer, he shares something that the audience desires. They are being conditioned to desire the result of having a high ticket sales or closer skill set. And my high income skills would have made me tens of millions of dollars over the years. Tens of millions. And will continue to make me tens of millions of dollars until I die. Another instance of conditioning and association. Not yearly earning, not monthly earning, not weekly earning, daily earning. Now, that's this, oh, that's of course, is it is a very good day? Yes. Not my best day. Consider me skeptical of these numbers. Remember that guys like Dan have huge ad spend in order to build up the following he has. He may have those numbers in revenue, but without seeing the expenses, those numbers mean nothing. If I told you he was spending $95,000 a day in advertising and making $96,000, would you be as impressed? Of course not. Dan showing off his two residences, more flash that the audience desires. And I'm not telling you this to impress you. Dan isn't exactly known for his honesty. It's possible. A fucking poor immigrant boy could do this. If you're born in America, what fucking excuse do you have? You have none. So don't give me that bullshit. Oh, my family is fucking dysfunctional. You will always have to battle objections when trying to sell anything. What speakers can do well on stage is remove objections before the potential customer can even use them. The relationship between speaker and audience member is one-sided. There's only one person speaking, so it gives the speaker the chance to address all objections before the audience member can, which leads to an easier sale. From that $2,500 for that's called fucking piece of crap lemon, to a $250,000 car, what changed? What transformed my life? I can tell you, write this down. What transformed my life? It's all because I've dedicated my whole fucking life to one thing and one thing only, and that is being a high ticket closer. How do you turn your high status mindset into high income? The number one way to do that is high ticket closing, and I'll prove to you in just a moment. He's conditioning you into believing that in order for you to bridge the gap between your terrible car and a $250,000 Bentley is being a high ticket closer. I love how he makes the students write down the words as if it's some profound statement. I want you to listen to this next segment really closely. This is where the absolute manipulation begins. I sat down in the audience, exactly this spot, front row and center. And I was just taking notes because I was learning. And the second speaker was up on stage and he was speaking and, and all that. And about halfway into his presentation, I stood up and I walked out the door. Now all the people around me was thinking, oh maybe Dan is just tired, or he wants to get back to the hotel room and all that. No, I was going out there to sign up for the second speaker's education. And I did the same thing for the third speaker, I did the same thing for the fourth speaker. You see, I didn't have to wait for, for somebody to tell me what I need to do to better my life. So I did that four speakers. I, on that day, I must have spent $7,000 in my own education. And the staff outside, he was, was asking me, but Dan, you don't know the price yet. I said, it doesn't matter. I said, here's my credit card. I want to buy it. Yeah, but Dan, you don't know what it is. 
Is it a DVD? Is it like a seminar? Is it like a course? You don't know what the fuck it is. I said, it doesn't matter. I want what he has to offer. Here's my credit card. Just, just, just pay it. It doesn't matter. This is a fascinating lie that he tells. He is planting in the audience mind that he went out and bought all of the courses sold by the educators on stage. Are you noticing how subtle this is? It took me two times through the segment to really capture what he was doing. This is manipulation through lies and deceit in hopes that the audience now believes that in order to get what Dan Locke has, you need to buy educational products from the speakers on stage, regardless of the price. Are you seeing how <laughs> obvious this is? That $7,000 investment that I invested made me over $100,000 in 30 days. I got all my money back the first day I used the material. Because money is math. Wow, Dan, 100K in 30 days all from a course. I really hope his line is as obvious to you as it is to me. He's manipulating the audience into believing that they're just a course away from making 100K in 30 days. He's not explicitly saying it, but you can see how him applying this reality is what influences the audience to want to buy. How many of you would want me to sell you something for $7,000 that would make you $100,000? Put it nice and high. This is illegal if he was a financial advisor or real estate investor promising returns the way he is. Dan would last about three days as a financial advisor. The SEC would be tearing his doors down ready to take him to jail with this kind of investment selling. He said numerous times throughout the first segment that he never focused on getting rich quick, nor should the audience. But he's now basically selling under the guise that the audience members will get rich in 30 days if they buy an educational product. Kiyosaki said it very well. When the minute you say, I can't afford it, I can't afford it, your mind shuts down. It stops working. You stop being resourceful. I can't afford it. Oh, okay, that's it. You're out of the game. I'm like, no, what can I do? What can I do? How can I make this work? A high standard rich mindset, write this down. Say it with me. How can I make it make me money? He knows that a lot of his potential customers will present the objection that they can't afford whatever it is he is selling. He's attempting to tear down that objection now by persuading you into thinking that you should be asking yourself how you can profit from your purchase. Keep in mind that Dan still hasn't presented what he's selling. He's building up this idea that he's going to give the audience a chance to buy something that will guarantee a return of 100 grand. All these business leaders, they spend a fortune, a what? Fortune. Every month, generating the leads, converting those leads, running webinars, doing email follow-ups, making videos, publishing content. But they don't make their real money until a high ticket closer like you and me get on the phone and close these high ticket sales. This is fucking profound. They don't make their real money until you and I get on the phone. And they're happy to pay you a 10, 15% commission if you can do that for them. He makes it sound so easy for you to make money. He wants you to believe that there are so many companies out there spending a fortune on lead generation and all they're missing is a high ticket closer to step in and rake in the big money. And look, you can make an incredible income without ever creating a single product, running a single ad, or cold calling a single person. Dan, I'm sold. I can be in sales and never have to cold call anyone? This almost sounds too good to be true. Now, but you might be saying, but Dan, I don't want to be a sleazy salesman. How many of you don't like selling? Just be honest. It's okay. Yep. No, no, nice and high. I want to see. Thank you for honesty. That's okay. Wait, wait, something is coming to me. You're broke. Knowing his audience members, I don't want to be in sales is going to be a popular objection. Why not crush it before they can speak? Now that we're reaching the end of the sales pitch, he is removing all remaining objections that he knows the audience members may have. Testimonial time, how great is Dan's product? He has one solid testimonial. The distance between where you are to where you want to go is your words. No, Dan. The distance is actually running a real business, creating a real product, and selling to an audience without using manipulation tactics. High ticket closing is the easiest money that you will ever make. As I said, your average intro entrepreneurs, marketers, they are busy. What's the word? Busy. How the government doesn't step in and stop this is besides me, so making these videos is the best we can do. What I found fascinating about this picture is that if you zoom in on the blacked out part, you can actually see that the Facebook group is called The Art of High Ticket Selling. This sounds eerily familiar with what Dan Locke is selling. Maybe they're connected somehow? If you read the sales copy for the group, it sounds almost identical to what something Dan Locke would have written. Let's check out LinkedIn for this clients-on-demand branding. 
Interesting. This guy, Russell Ruffino, started Clients on Demand in 2010. This is not connected with Dan Locke at all, which means Dan literally copied this guy's playbook, his branding, and even his terminology. As if we needed any more proof that Dan was a fraud. This is just my opinion, though. I'm sure it's wrong because, you know, there's no way Sifu, the expert in all areas of business full of transparency, could possibly have copyrighted this guy's material or gotten an idea from this guy's business. Today's essentially, you know what? I'm going to get this taken care of. And from now on, you'll have a high income skill for the rest of your life. Be able to close anywhere, anyone, anywhere, anytime. And XTC will show you how to do that. I will show you how to do that. For those of you who want, stand up, follow me outside to get your free book, but also to get started. People buy off emotion. This entire speech was carefully crafted to influence the audience into buying the product off emotions. These sales tactics work, which is what makes them so dangerous and why the government steps in when needed. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you stayed until the end, thank you very much.